Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Kikercraft. Uh, I'm Ty Gorso, here with Garen, and uh, we're going to go on a little adventure today. We are going to build another portal, and we're going to walk through it for the first time. Uh, we found some diamonds the other day in the other episode, and uh, we've got some obsidian now. So we're going to go build one out here, we're going to light it up, and we're going to see what terrors wait for us on the other side. Hopefully it's uh, not bad like our last world. Uh, in our last world it was terrible because we went through the, the portal, um, came out, and we're in an abandoned mine shaft. Oh. <laughs> Misplaced block. Oh, we need our diamond pickaxe. Um, we came out in an abandoned mine shaft and we were like, oh, okay, there's an abandoned mine shaft around here. Uh, cool. Um, and then we went back through the portal and came out someplace completely different. So we were like, uh, okay, every single time we, <laughs> we went through, uh, we came out someplace different. So it was, uh, it was a little bit of a weird experience. Um, hopefully this time, uh, it's not going to be as, a uh, harrowing. Um, there is an abandoned mine shaft nearby. Let me go put this back. Uh, there is an abandoned mine shaft nearby. Um, we saw it once when we uh, logged in, and there was a little bit of lag. Um, but we don't exactly know where it is. We just know that it's nearby. So hopefully, we don't get stuck in it again. And uh, well, I just don't want to get stuck in it again. So here we go. Boom. All right. Swords at the ready. I'm going to go in first and we're going to see what happens. Here we go. Cross your fingers. Downloading. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. All right. Oh. Whew. Oh my gosh. What freaking luck. We are in another fortress. Hell yes. Okay, and we're back. Uh, had a little bit of a technical problem there. Uh, loading the nether uh, caused uh, my computer to crash. Um, so, but yeah, we're inside another fortress. This is freaking awesome. Because uh, last uh, in our last world, it was absolutely terrible. Um, the only nether fortress that we ended up finding was about 3,000 blocks away from where our nether portal spawned. So it was just absolutely the worst thing ever. So this is fantastic. Um, we'll be able to, uh, you know, get to easy blaze spawners and, you know, lots of uh, that nether wart over there. So this is just, this is just good news. Very good news. And glowstone. Hell yes. Okay. All right, I don't want to get lost in here, which I tend to do. So we're going to head back to the portal and uh, we're going to go back through it and hope that we come out on a proper side, that it's not someplace freaky that's impossible to get out of. So here we go. Oh, cross your fingers. All right, and we're back. Yes, this is awesome. Perfect. Okay. All right. So, uh, wow, that was actually a lot faster than I had planned because I actually planned on spending some time looking for another fortress. And of course, it fears that we would spawn directly in one. So, <laughs> all right, here we go back. All right. Very awesome. Okay. So, here are the zombie pigmen. Let's see, is there anything? Oh, there's glowstone right there. Actually, this is what I was kind of hoping to uh, uh, stumble upon. Really want uh, some glowstone to put in the uh, uh, in the treehouse, so that way we don't have to use fire. I hate torches. I hate the way they look. Um, and I don't want to burn the place down, which is what I I like using. Like uh, we have we have this des uh, design that we came up with for like a brazier with. Uh, uh, oh, it's right above the lake of lava. Oh, okay, that glowstone is not very accessible. Oh, there's some up there. Um, 
this really cool uh, sort of like burning brazier thing that um, I actually really like. But the tree is made out of flammable and flammable materials, and I really don't want to uh, burn the entire forest down. So we're going to use glowstone, whether it be just glowstone or glowstone lamps. Um, you know, we'll see how it looks. Go ahead and break this. There we go. I love the nether. The nether has so many useful things. Oh! Ow. Now there are so many useful things in it, you know, killing ghasts and zombie pigmen and all kinds of awesome things. I also like netherrack, even though it's freaking ugly as all hell. I like that you can set it on fire. I like burning things. Alright, there we go. Alright. So, um, just wanted to let you guys know that we have um, decided that in our downtime when we're not making videos and we are playing, we are actually going to live stream uh, our downtime. And uh, you can find us on Twitch TV under Keeger TV. And you can come join us, watch us there if we're broadcasting. We don't mind at all. Uh, we'll be watching the chat and things. Um, but it'll be mostly like the boring stuff, uh, farming, you know, maybe uh, getting experience and, you know, all the all the boring things that nobody likes to watch. Um, so that is another thing. So twitch.tv slash Keeger TV. Oh, frame drop. Uh, slash Keeger TV. And uh, you can join us there. And... Alright, let's see what else is in here. Let's see if we can maybe pull up something interesting. I hate how this spawns. It really annoys me. Um, so, yeah. So, I was uh, going to spend a lot more time <laughs> going through the nether and finding out. You know, it's even about finding another fortress, like I said, but we just got so lucky. This is actually turning out really well for us, this whole world. Our last one was, like, hard mode. It was really throwing the everything in the kitchen sink at us as far as difficulty. This one seems to be like, oh, okay, well, you know how to play now. Ugh. Uh, so, you know, we'll make it easy on you. Oh. I hear something. I think those are blazes. Oh, yeah, looks like we got a blade spawner. Ah! I'm on fire! Oh my god. There's a crap ton of them. Alright. Here we go! Alright. Well, at least we got some blaze rods. That was weird. Where the hell did they come from? There must be a spawner around here somewhere. Do blazes just spawn out of nothing? I always thought they came from spawners. Huh. Well, that's weird. Nothing is ever uninteresting in the nether. Oh, frame rate drop. Ugh. The nether is hell on the server and my computer. Oh, here gassed. Alright, I don't think he can get us though. Alright. So, yeah. Uh, let's, let's go out through this window here. Scary? Nothing scary? Zombie pigmen. Wink wink. Oh. Okay. Uh, this nether fortress seems to be pretty tiny. Let's bust through here. Huh. Oh, well, I guess this is another wing of it. Okay, I guess it's not too tiny after all. Okay, good. I was a little bit worried there. 
because I really like building with uh, the nether brick. Nether brick is one of them. Oof! You're gassed. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, I see. Giren's fighting him. Oh, he's down there. Let's see. Can I? I can't. He's not rendering for me. I gotta get down there. Here. Down here. Where is he? I don't see him. Oh, I guess Garen got him. Oh, I wanted to fight the ghast. I love killing ghasts. Oh. Alright. Bummer. So... We've been watching a lot of YouTube uh, videos lately, like we do, and uh, we have been noticing that um, there are a lot of good movies coming out this summer, like a ton of them. We usually, uh, me and Garen usually don't like going to the movie theaters all that much, um, but this summer, damn, they are trying their absolute hardest to get us to go, and we actually think we might. Um, but there are like tons of movies coming out. Um, the first one that we ever really saw that really, oh, shh, that really made us want to go. All right, got him. Uh, was Wreckin' Ralph, which is, I think it's like a, a Pixar film. Um, looks just freaking hilarious. Um, it's about video game bad guy who wants to become a good guy. So... You know, it kind of has like a Monsters, Inc. sort of feel. Now, you guys remember Monsters, Inc.? If you don't, oh my god, I just dated myself. I'm so old. Um, but, yeah, it looks really good. So, that's one of them. Ah, frame rate drop. Ow. Uh, that's one of them. Let's see what else is there. Um, there's things like Anna Karina, which I don't know anything about her. Apparently, she's like a historical figure. But the movie looks... Awesome. Lots of drama. Uh, all right, here we go. Bust through this. Just breaking windows everywhere. Um, and uh, there's also Total Recall. Um, Total Recall was actually probably one of my favorite uh, movies when I was younger. It was the first sort of like movie that my parents let me see that was uh, above like a PG or PG-13 rating or something like that. So it, while it's not the, oh, damn, surprise. While it's not the best movie in the world, it, oh, shh, oh, that's bad. Is he coming for me? Yeah, he is. Oh, crap. Ooh, gold nugget. Um. Well, it's not the best movie in the world. Um, it is kind of like a nostalgia movie for me um, because I actually really like it, even though it's just absolutely terrible. You know, even by 80s standards, it wasn't even that good. Um, some of you might disagree with me, but you know, I think most people who watch us probably have never even seen the movie, probably don't even know what it is, but it is a, it's a Schwarzenegger film with Arnold, the Governator. And uh, it's, it's a movie I kind of have a soft spot for. Um, but they're redoing it with Colin Farrell, of all people. I figured that they would have done uh, something like, uh, you know, finding an Arnold clone or something like that. Um, but no, they... He went with Colin Farrell, which actually is kind of interesting because the whole point was that he was supposed to be like a normal guy, I guess. Um, and, you know, Arnold does not really scream normal to me. So, there we go. Up oh, fire aspect. <laughs> like it's going to work against flame things. Um, so that, that was a little bit weird, but I think it actually might work. So we'll just have to see. Where are you? Die. All right. There we go. Oh, one more. Did I get him? Got him. 
Okay. Um, what else? Uh, Looper. Looper is another one with one of my favorite actors, Bruce Willis. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. I love uh, time travel and things like that. Some of my favorite movies in the world have to do with time travel. And uh, this one is looking real good. So that's one that I really want to go see. Um, not, the, not the one I want to see the most. Um, that's actually reserved for another movie. Uh, it's an Oliver Stone movie. It's called Savages. And oh my gosh, want, 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 want. It looks awesome. I don't know who the actor is, but whoever plays like the the cartel hitman, oh my gosh, he is like freaking awesome because apparently he's like tortures people and I love that. I love violence and but I don't love um like just violence for the sake of violence. I love violence with a purpose. Like, you know, he's trying to get information out of somebody, shoots him in the leg, you know, lets him roll around on the floor in absolute agony, and then, you know, like, steps on his leg or something like that, trying to get the information out of it. I love that kind of stuff. That's just sadistic, and I love it. Um, oh, this is looking good. This is making me feel claustrophobic, though. I'm just gonna raise the roof in here. Raise the roof! Um, and then... What else is there? There's things like Moonrise Kingdom, which is like some sort of romantic comedy, like a it looks like a like a new age noir film or something like that. It's kind of like a '60s vibe. It's, it looks it looks kind of weird. It's got Bruce Willis in it too, so I'll probably go see that because I like watching Bruce Willis. Um, and then of course there is the the new Dark Knight movie, the new Batman. So that's that's something that I'll probably go see as well. Um, I did, I didn't like the first one. Uh, I can't remember what it's called, but the the first Dark Knight movie, I didn't really care for it all that much. The second one, I liked much better. Uh, Heath Ledger as the um, as the Joker was just absolutely awesome. Such a tragedy that he died, but um, you know, it was it was a great performance nonetheless. Um, so we will probably go see that one. I don't, I don't know. Maybe you guys can leave a comment about who the villain is in that movie because I, I'm not a huge comic book person. I mean, I know about comics, but I never really like was into them like a lot of people are. Who the hell is the villain? Oh, I do have another one. Okay. Who the hell is the villain? Because me and Giron were watching this and we're like, we don't know this bad guy. Who the hell is this? He looks freaking awesome, but we don't know anything about him. So that was kind of a, a first for us. Um, you know, it seems like all the superhero movies, they do kind of like the the everybody, you know, whether they know comic books or not, will be able to recognize this bad guy. You know, like... Um, the Green Goblin in Spider-Man and things like that. Um, you know, everybody knows the Green Goblin. So that was sort of a surprise for us and quite pleasant surprise at that. Um, so, so yeah, if you guys do know uh, who the, the character is, leave, leave us a note in the comments and because uh, we would like to know. Are these guys coming for me? Looks like they are, so I'm going to kill them. Um, but yeah, so a lot of really awesome movies coming out. Um, if you guys have any awesome movies you'd like to see, you know, leave it in the comments as well. Um, cause you know, we obviously don't do movies, uh, terribly often. Um, so there are probably things that, there are probably things that we don't know about, but you guys do. So, you know, hook us up. Um, other than that, that's pretty much... Oh, crap! <laughs> I don't even know where that came from, but I heard that fireball come. Where are you? You down below? Yep, there he is. Oh, he's burning. Yeah! Sniper. Alright, so, uh, don't forget to, uh, like, subscribe, comment, uh... Ugh, lag. Uh, we have been getting a lot of great responses from people who have been uh, uh, watching our videos, so we thank you guys all for liking what we do. And uh, I know this episode's probably a little bit longer, 
uh, than normal, but it's the day off. No work today. So we figured we'd do a little bit of longer ones trying to get used to it. So um, thanks you guys for watching. Take care. We'll see you next time.